knee cars. So to do a knee car, we want to combine the ranges of motion of flexion and extension. We also want to combine the ranges of rotation. And to do that, we are going to use our foot as a lever. So we're going to go rotation inwards and rotation outwards. So we're going to combine all those motions. It's good to kind of lock your femur, your upper leg bone, so that you can't cheat and do the rotations through your hip. So feel free to hold your femur bone we're going to start in a flexed position and we're going to rotate inwards and then we're going to straighten and we're going to rotate outwards and then we're going to flex. We're going to rotate inwards, straighten, outwards, flex. We're going to do the same thing in the opposite direction. So we're going to start with our foot facing out, moving this whole leg bone outwards in a rotation like this, in a cylindrical rotation outwards. So out, straighten, in, back. You can also put your fingers or your fingertips on the front of your leg bone. If you run your hand up your shin, you should eventually hit a pretty prominent bony point on the front of your shin. And you can use that to tell if you're rotating your leg inwards and outwards. So again, if we start in a flex position, rotate out, I can feel that bone move. Straighten, inwards, you can feel that bone move, and back down to neutral.